Here you will see two windows side by side. On the left side, you'll see Visual Studio Code and on the right, the Nutanix Cloud Manager, Prism. In this demo, we will walk through the Terraform and Ansible integration and deploy an Edge Rancher K3S highly available Kubernetes cluster with Load Balancer. At the end, we will deploy a sample application to the Kubernetes cluster. Let's walk through the Terraform configuration and deploy the infrastructure for the K3S cluster. On the left-hand pane, you see several .tf files. These files contain the configurations for the Nutanix provider, variable files, the main TF file ubc.tf with the infrastructure definitions, as well as an output file that displays the assigned IP addresses post-deployment. Let's quickly walk through each of these starting with the provider TF. The provider TF provides the Nutanix provider and version for Terraform. Within this file is the provider configuration as it pertains to connectivity and access to Nutanix Cloud Manager. Next is the variables TF file, which outlines the variables leveraged across these configuration TF files. The ubc.tf file contains all the infrastructure definitions for the virtual machines, naming schemes, and location of the cloud in it file that's called for our Ubuntu cloud image. Lastly, there is an output.tf that provides the IP addresses assigned via our native IP address management solution post deployment. Now we will run Terraform plan to preview the actions Terraform will take to modify your infrastructure. Then we will run Terraform apply to execute the actions proposed in our plan. Let's monitor Nutanix Cloud Manager, and you'll notice within seconds that five VMs will be created named UBK0 through UBK4. These are the Ubuntu Cloud VMs that we will use to deploy K3S. As you can see, our five VMs are up and ready to deploy K3S. Now let's take a look at the output from the output. TF to obtain the IP addresses so we can populate our host.ini file within Ansible and switch over to our Ubuntu WSL machine. Next, we will check our Ansible playbook to validate our configuration. We've selected our version of K3S, an Ansible user, time zone, the flannel interface, the API server endpoint, our K3 token, and our cube v app and metal LB configurations. Next, we issue the Ansible playbook command to run our playbook. Let's monitor this until completion. This will only take a couple of minutes to complete. Here we see the Cuba PI VIP is responding. Now we will wait for the other nodes to join the cluster and for the post cluster configurations to complete. This task literally took around two minutes. Now let's check our cluster to make sure that everything looks good. I will SSH into one of the master nodes and check the status of the cluster. As you can see, we have three masters with etc. D and two workers ready. You can also see our metal LB load balancer is also configured and ready. Let's deploy a simple application. This is a voting application is provided by Microsoft that's used for test purposes. It's composed of a web front end and Redis back end. The front end will be exposed via a Kubernetes service of the Metal LB load balancer. Let's check the IP that was provided from the pool and access the application.
In summary, a modern platform will have integration with the automation tools that layer on top of the infrastructure, whether that's a platform running on premises or the cloud. In a matter of minutes, we demonstrated the Nutanix integration with Terraform and Ansible by deploying the infrastructure, the Kubernetes platform, and an application. Imagine the possibilities within your organization.